on a regular basis and it's a real tough job for them to get a makeup look which would really suit on the legs so I have tried creating this look and I really like the way it has turned out once I have put on my specs on my face so if you like this look and you want to know how I have created it then keep on watching so guys firstly starting off I have applied the uh, Lotus Safe Sun Herbal uh, Sunscreen on my face and that's it just because the summers are not yet done so sunscreen is very important after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the miss claire primer which is in the shade one this is a clear shade and i'm going to apply that on the t-zone area of my skin on my face just because my face tends to get very oily So we are done with the primer. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the foundation. This one is uh, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now let me tell you this is a darker shade to my skin tone. You can directly see from here but I'm going to apply another foundation on this just to give me the full coverage. So I'm going to put this dark shade beneath and then I'm going to put the light shade above. So this one is a L'Oreal True Match Foundation taking a bit of the product on my hand and then I'm going to use a brush to apply that entirely on my face and for this firstly I'm going to cover my parts which have a bit of pigmentation and my dark circles and my dark spots just to give me that coverage so guys once I'm done with the dark shade foundation on my face my face looks like this and I'm really not happy with the dark shades on my face but anyways the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Bharat and Doris cream foundation on my face this one looks like this and it has a packing as same as that of uh, the compact powder I tell you this one is a super pigmented foundation so I'm going to take a very less amount not much and I'm going to apply it entirely on my face So this is how my face looks once I'm done with the second layer of the foundation, the Bharat and Doris one. And um, I'm going to use this foundation as a primer uh, thing on my eyes before my eye makeup. Just because I feel this one acts best as a primer, best as a corrector. And this is really good for the pigmented eyes if you have the pigmented kind of eyelids. So I do have a bit of dark eyelids so I need a primer always. So you can see. It really covers your pigmentation and dark skin very well so I'm going to use it as a primer of my eye makeup and also let me tell you I had went on a trip if you are not checking out my vlogs do check out my vlogs I post vlogs every Wednesday and Saturday so I had already told in my vlog that I'm going on a trip by the way and yes my trip was awesome I went Aurangabad, I went Shegao, I went Shirdi and where else I went? I went Ahmednagar and my trip was really awesome I really enjoyed and I have a bit of tanning on my face because the heat there is so much really not bearable so yeah so guys once I'm done with priming up my eyes uh, what I need to do is I'm going to set the primer uh, eyes with the compact powder and the compact powder which I'm going to use is uh, the L'Oreal matte compact powder I'm going to set my eyelids with this powder by taking a brush just because I don't want any of the uh, crease lines or any of the cakey look once I'm done with the eye makeup so I'm going to set this one like this just in case it should not really melt once I'm done with the makeup so I'm going to prime both of my eyes so once I'm done with applying the compact powder on my eyes my face is looking real bad 
But once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do next is going to start the eye makeup. But before that, what I'm thinking is I'm going to apply a lighter shade beneath my eyebrow just to highlight my eyebrow and just to highlight my eye makeup as well because uh, my eyebrows have not plucked since a long time. So I really need to fix this part because it's looking worst and I have a bit of eyebrow growth there. For that, I'm going to use this Yua Mian Lee palette. This one is something I got from aliexpress.com and this one is an awesome palette. This has four shades. It has the bronzer shades and it has the highlight shade. It has one highlight shade actually and baki all are bronzer shades. So this palette looks like this. I'm going to use the highlight shade just to give a touch up below my eyebrow. So once I'm done with this thing, what I'm going to do next is going to start the eye makeup. Now for eye makeup on specs, let me tell you, uh, it is not really much visible. Uh, the different shades that we have applied, that one is not really visible. So I always go for a common eyeshadow or the normal single eyeshadow on the entire of my eyelid because that is going to be visible and not the different eyeshadows. If you are going to do a bit of smoky look then that's okay but different eyeshadows is not something going to be visible on your specs so going with single one is always a good idea for that i'm going to use the blue heaven eyeshadow palette this one is a very teeny tiny eyeshadow palette with four shades and i'm going to use the peach or what we can say the maroonish shade over here to cover entire of my eyelids and for this I'm going to use my fingers today I'm not going to use a brush so I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm going to put it like this I'm going to grab the eyeshadow you know what applying eyeshadow entirely on your eyelids with a finger is the best and the easy step ever in makeup I enjoy it so much because this one is super fast and it won't really take much effort so yes Yes, guys I'm done with both of my eyes now nextly what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an eyeliner on my eyelids and for that I'm going to use a uh, Nykaa liquid liner. It's my work so precise just because of the length it has. It has a big 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 gap and this one really is helpful for applying the eyeliner. So let me apply quickly and also on glasses there is not a real need of applying a very dark or bold eyeliner. Just a simple eyeliner, a thin eyeliner is okay because if you're going to apply a very thick eyeliner this is going to make your eyes look small that is not going to look good so yeah so we are pretty much done with the eyeliner the next part is mascara for mascara i'm going to use the maybelline hyper curl mascara and uh, this one is the waterproof mascara so let's do that quickly Now you really don't want a uh, bold layers of mascara on your eyelashes just because when you are uh, putting specs there is a fair chance of your eyelashes uh, sticking or getting in touch with the glasses of your specs so make sure you are not making it very bold with the mascara just one layer is enough yes I'm pretty much done with the mascara now next part is the kajal my favorite part I love kajal for Kajal, I'm going to use the L'Oreal and Paris Kajal Magic. Yeah, uh, this one is a very dark black shade of Kajal, and I really like it so much. And let me tell you, I have a bit of problem with Kajal. All of the brands of Kajal are not really suitable for my eyes. My eyes start watering. Now the Maybelline Gel Kajal. It's not something um, suited me. I had to really give it to my sister. I was not able to use it at all. Because my eyes starts watering if the kajal won't really suit me and my eyes swells like hell. So, you know, selecting a kajal is a real tough job for me because I'm not sure that if this kajal is going to suit me and if this kajal is not going to suit me. So, 
I really uh, think twice before investing in Kajal. Next thing what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use this 3D Sivana eye pencil for doing my eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to use the gel side of the pencil uh, which is this side. It looks like this. This one is a spatula or the applicator. So I guess I'm perfectly done with my eyebrows thing. So next I'm going to apply this shiny loose powder from uh, Nel USA for entire of my face just to give a bit of uh, shiny thing on my face. Just as uh, we use the compact powder, this one is the same but it has a bit of shine, that's it. And what I'm searching is the puff. So I'm going to apply this. I really love this powder because the texture of this powder and how my face really looks once this powder is set is amazing. So I really like this powder. So as you can see it is a normal powder instead of compact but yes it do have a bit of shiny particles on it. And yeah, I'm done with this. Now let's just contour the face. Now for contouring the face, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution palette. And this palette has a beautiful uh, matte shade. So today I'm thinking of going with the matte shade because the shiny thing is much on my face. And now it's time to get matte. So for this, I'm going to use this uh, shade in the palette. This one is a brown shade but there are a lot of different brown shades in this so I'm going to go with the matte one. So I'm done contouring my face with this and I'm not going to again bronzer because I need a bit of light contouring and not very heavy so you can see from this side and this side as well. So. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to do for my forehead and my chin area. Yeah, so I'm thinking of doing a bit of contour on my nose part. So I'm going to take a flat brush from, uh, I guess, this one is from Pune Brush Company or that sort of. So I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to contour my nose a bit off. Then I'm going to just merge it with the fingers. And this is, I think I am. I'm done with this. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to apply the blush on my cheeks. Now for blush, I'm going to use this palette. Now this palette has this curl, which is something I broke off. This one is a dupe of MAC. It is written as MAC on this, but this is not the original MAC. This one I got from a local drugstore and this one is a duplicate of MAC. So, but the shades of the blush are awesome. I got the burnt orange shade in this which was something I was needing since so long time and I got all the shades of pink I mean whatever you want all the shades are here and I think this one I got just for about 300 or 250 rupees so I was pretty much happy because this is super pigmented I guess it's more than two years that I have this palette and yet not done even the half part of it so so I'm going to use uh, the brush from Naked 3 and I'm going to use this burnt orange shade in this for my blush part and I'm going to take a very less amount of the product because less is always nice. So I guess I'm done with the cheek thing. Now uh, the favorite part of mine, the highlighter. So let's start with the highlighter. For highlighter, I think I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution uh, Pro Illuminate Highlighter. This one is a 
real big highlighter but I love this it is so much of pigmented I'm going to use this fan brush to apply the highlighter because I'm not going to highlight my face much also I'm going to use the eye highlighter on about my eyebrows because I think precise eyebrows always look good on specs So yeah, I'm done with the highlighter and look at my face. It's shining bright! So the last part, I guess. Yeah, the last part is the lipstick. So for lipstick, which lipstick I'm going to use? I really don't know. Let me check out. So for lips, I'm going to use the In Color Matte Me Lipstick. This one is in the shade 411. I'm going up with the both shades. So guys this is how I look once I'm done with the entire of my makeup and my specs on so check out how beautiful the look looks and even the specs are like so much of suiting on this look always a bold lipstick and a common bright eyeshadow or a single shade eyeshadow is always good for this look so this is how I look and this is how my face turned out so guys if you have liked this look don't forget to hit the like below also don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it already just check out all of my new makeup looks coming ahead on this channel so description is extremely free so you can subscribe and press the bell icon which is beside it to get notified of for all of my new videos coming out on this channel also comment me down if you have any questions any suggestions in the comment section below and check out my description box for all of the products i have used for creating this look and yeah see you to my next one till then bye